Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths A Level Practice Paper D. Here we're working on question 8, a circles question. The equation of two circles, x plus 10x plus y squared minus 12y equals 3 and x squared minus 6x plus y squared minus 2qy equals 9. Uh, find the centre and the radius of each circle, giving your answer in terms of q where necessary. Right, OK, so what we need to do to find the centres and radius of these circles is to complete the square on the x variables and the y variables for each of the circles. So the way we do that is we set up a bracket with a squared component to it, and you need an x in there, and you add half of your 10, which is 5. And then to balance that out, you need to take away 25. Then you do the same for the y variable, so this time it's going to be y minus 6 squared, and then you take away 36. And this will equal 3, so we'll take everything onto one side now to get the radius. So here we've already got the um, centre of the circle is minus 5, 6 from the negatives inside these brackets here. Um, 25 add uh, 36 will give us uh, 61, add on to 3, you get 64. So we're going to have a centre at minus 5, 6 and a radius of 8. Great. Next one. Um, <clears throat> this one here, so it's going to be uh, x minus 3 squared plus y minus q squared. Uh, and then we need to take away the 3 squared, which is 9, and take away q squared as well, which will equal 9. So we have a centre of our circle at 3 and q. And adding that bit onto the side here, 18 plus q squared. <coughs> Great. Uh, so here the centre is 3q. And the radius is the square root of 18 plus q squared. OK, great. Part B is the distance between the centre of the two circles is the square root of 80. Find the possible values of q. OK, well, what we want to do is we want to find the distance between five, minus 5, 6 and 3, q. So uh, just drawing this out uh, in a small way on the side here, we have minus 5, 6, so over here, and 3, q, let's say it's here. Uh, or it could be up here. So, um, so this distance from here to here needs to be square root of 80, and this distance from here to here needs to be square root of 80. So what we need to do is then um, calculate the using a right angle triangle here, um, it's going to be uh, distance on the x coordinates is going to be from minus 5 up to 3. So minus 5 here up to 3, that's the difference of 8 squared on the right angle triangle distance here. And it's going to be on the uh, y-axis 6 down to q. So this is going to be add 6 minus q squared. Uh, and this will equal a distance of the square root of 80. Now, if q is actually up here and q is bigger than um, 6, then it doesn't really matter, because even if we get a negative in this bracket here, it's still going to be squared, so we don't need to worry about any negatives appearing in the square root there. So, expanding this, we're going to get 64 plus 6 minus q squared equals 80. So squaring both sides here. Take away the 64 onto the side, you get 6 minus q squared equals 16. Uh, so therefore, q minus, 6 minus q must equal plus or minus 4. Make sure you don't forget to do plus or minus there to get your two different solutions. So working with each of the different uh, values of plus or minus, when we have 6 minus q equals 4, then q must obviously equal 2. And when 6 minus q equals minus 4, then we need to take away, uh, so add the 4 onto the side, you get 10, add the q onto the side, you get q. 
So Q is either equal to 2 or is equal to 10. Okay, great, 9 marks for that.